Now, this time next year, Britain will be getting ready to host the 2012 Olympics. Preparations for the big event are well underway, and like all big projects, there's sure to be a, a hiccup or two before we get to the finishing line. However, for all our sakes, let's just hope that the team of organisers aren't as clueless as our first guest character, who appears in a new BBC4 comedy about the run-up to the big games. Um, OK, right, uh, the clock. OK, yeah, clock is sensational. Yeah, I'm sure it is, but how does it work exactly? OK, OK. Um, OK, so the thing with the clock is, OK, um, so here's the thing with the clock. Um, okay, the great thing about the clock is that it's counting backwards. Backwards in time or backwards in numbers? Yeah, sure. Either. I mean both. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's sensational. It's pretty cool. Can we have a word? Totally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please welcome Jessica Hines. Yes. You know what, we've all met her, haven't we, at some yes. point in our lives? Yes. She's a total blagger, isn't she? Yes, she's kind of... A, uh, yeah, that's probably quite, quite, being quite nice about yeah. her. Yeah, well, she I was... I did have another blagger. word, but it's not suitable for she's, broadcast. She's quite... You know, she's... she's um, I, I remember seeing the first episode for the first time and being kind of... Because I remember having a lot of fun doing it and playing the part. Um, and, Fantastic and then, cast. I know, it's an amazing cast. Hugh Bonneville, who's oh, just so all amazing. Hugh I know, Bonneville. he's so brilliant. And Carl Theobald and Amelia Bullmore and Olivia Coleman and Vincent Franklin. It's amazing yeah. kind of, um, amazing cast. But I remember seeing the first episode and, and, uh, and loving it. And, you know, thinking, oh, this is really, really good. But thinking about my, my, my character, she's just... She's kind of <laughs> sort of repulsive in some ways. <laughs> <laughs> it's something about you sort of want to punch her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, but I, and I kind of thought she would have been a bit like that, but I was kind of shocked <laughs> when I saw it. This is like a, a, it's a docudrama, isn't it? Yes, it's the same guy who did uh, People Like Us, John Morton. And um, The Office, isn't it? Uh, and it's the same executive producer who did The Office. Yes. So it's kind of a bit of, it's a great team, actually, a bit, great comedy. How difficult is that to do, though? Because it's, it looks improvised. It just looks, you know, like there isn't an exact script, is there? <laughs> You, there's a, a very, very exact, precise script with lots of a very, very kind of tightly woven dialogues and lots of interjections. And so we kind of just all, I mean, we did a lot of rehearsing, um, you know, we'd always be rehearsing offset, to trying to get, get, kind of get the speed up and make sure we were all not treading on each other's lines and making sure we could really nail it. So you're not, really ad -li not ad-libbing round it then? You're mm -hmm. It's no. all absolutely... Oh. No, unless, unless... You know, unless that sort of John said, seen a bit of Abelian and sort of liked it and said, yeah, okay, you can keep that. But absolutely, Great. generally, absolutely not at all. Oh, yeah, so it's. Um, it feels, but we like it that feels quite it. loose and ad libbed. Yes. Um, you, yeah. you, you portray the Olympics deliverance team. Yes. Deliverance <laughs> kind of yes. has a terrible yeah. connotation, doesn't it? Um, have the real Olympics deliverance team uh, been involved in this at all? Well, I did. I went to see the screening actually with them and Seb Coe, oh. and he was there. Was he squirming? Sort of, was he laughing? He, no, he, he seemed to really enjoy it. Actually, no, yeah, he. he Is he, he in he, it? Uh, he he has a he makes a brief appearance. Yes, he does. Does he? He does. He so does. they're quite happy to send themselves up because you are paying playing a bunch of people that are completely useless. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> I think the thing as well is that they're not necessarily based on anyone specific. I think kind of John was just sort of really excited about the, the, the kind of idea of creating an imaginary kind of Olympic deliverance com committee because obviously there are people who you could say okay well that's probably him and that's probably him but they're absolutely not based on those people at all they're just kind of it's, it's all out of kind of jobs. So how did they take it at the screening when they saw how awful you were for example? <laughs> um, well they, they, they seem to really like it actually. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah I mean there, there was one person who, who didn't who had spoken to me before the screen and then didn't look at me afterwards and I'm not quite oh. sure why. <laughs> I don't know I can't remember who it was but I was sort of thinking I wonder if I don't know, but it was fine. But, uh, you know, they, they seem to really enjoy it. And did know? you manage to get a nosy down on the real Olympic site? Is any of it actually well, we filmed did, down we did, there? We did do some filming kind of quite next to it. We kind of How's do a it scene. It's, it's definitely going up. Um, <laughs> See, I know. don't trust us. I don't trust us. I think that this programme is, only, is going to sort of turn into reality. <laughs> I, I do too, think our yeah, Olympic yeah. Games is probably going to turn into so sort of an You mean this might go race. on until kind of... Yeah. This series might go on until kind of 2014, then, you think, yeah. maybe, just waiting for the... Well, yeah. a bit too yeah. close. I, I would imagine... I would be watching it thinking, oh, this is too close to the bone, this. And this is why, you know, it's interesting to know that they've seen it and Yeah, they, they, they really, like, I mean, they, you know, because it's so light-hearted and also it, it's, it's it, you know, we're not kind of saying this is a disaster, the Olympics are a disaster. We're saying this team of people are, are incompetent. Are, are, yeah. are kind of are funny, are funny yeah, characters. They've only seen the they first, take themselves first too seriously, mm. you know. 
I think they saw the first and then I think the last, actually. So oh, oh, there's such the good previews for this and people yeah. are saying it's the modern day dad's army and I think that that's a real compliment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah is well, that compliment. is a compliment. Yeah. Well, talking about dads, um, you have three children. I do, I do. One son. Do you yes. find the difference um, with boys versus girls? Do you, do, you, do you buy into what we were saying about the rough and tumble and the... The levels yeah. of testosterone. Well, I, I think, I mean, I don't know if, um, I wouldn't say that that, 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 like, that sort of testosterone aspect necessarily applies. I agree with you, Jenny. I think there's different types of boys as there are different girls, as there are different dads. Um, you know, they are I mean, somewhere on a scale, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's some boys who really like that rough and tumble and um, some who maybe don't so much, I think, generally. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, I know for myself that, that what, some of the things I've really enjoyed uh, uh, doing with my son as he's been growing up are things like Lego, which isn't necessarily... But that my husband doesn't really enjoy la laying out millions of bricks, whereas I actually do. I quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like some mad so therapeutic. And we've kind of gone into a few, you know, kind of time holes just in him doing that. And, and that's something that I would do with him. And Adam, his dad, wouldn't necessarily do that. But there are loads of other things that Adam... You know, yeah, does. Yeah. I mean, in the end, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's love and support and wherever you get that from, you know, that's what really matters, isn't it? It's just the yeah. kind of, it's the love they get. Speaking but, of but love, I, 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 yeah. we love Cheryl. <laughs> she's coming back <laughs> to the royal family. She's still on some hideous diet next door. Oh, I don't know. Well, the, the, I think there's probably hopefully going to be a, a new special. Be a, ro a royal wedding well, special. Well, uh, yeah. She hasn't I got don't time to reveal much time anything. To write it, but there, but were, there was some talk. During the Christmas Ooh, special, that would be oh, so yeah, watch the I mean, it would be amazing yeah. with the royal family on the same day. It's got to be on the same yes. day, hasn't it? Yeah, the amazing, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. live, <laughs> yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So Caroline's watching. Yeah, get writing. She's so, so brilliant. Yeah. She is, oh, but maybe it's, it's on tonight at uh, 10 p.m. on uh, BBC Four. Yeah, BBC Four. 10 p.m. 2012. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, yeah. Uh, look forward to seeing you in there, and hopefully more royal families, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Jessica Hines. Thank you.